purchased by a uh, product or service item. So I'm going to right click on this, open this in a new tab. And if I scroll to the right, let's close the hamburger, scroll up, range change 0101221231222 and run it. So now we've got our purchases by the items that we purchased here. So notice this adds up to the total of 156875. Uh, that doesn't tie out to the, like the expense line item on the income statement. If I go over to the income statement, it doesn't tie out to, why did the date change? 01012212321222, run it. And then I'll close this up. I'll close this up. So that's not going to tie out to the expense item here because we're talking now about the purchases that we made generally for inventory items. So the inventory items, when we purchase them, you would think would be increasing actually the inventory account on the balance sheet. And then when we sell them, they're going to be included in the, the cost of goods sold on the income statement on the sales side of things. Also, just a quick note on the expenses down here. Remember that you, when you enter the extent expenses, we have a similar kind of thing as with the income line items. Sometimes when people enter income accounts, they have a tendency to want to have a different income account by customer and then have a different income account by every service item that they sell. You don't typically want to do that. We want to have general categories of the things we sell and then usually have the sub ledger that can be breaking out income by customer or item. The expenses, you could have a similar kind of thing where people have a tendency to want to enter expense accounts by who they sold it to. Like I, I bought something from Verizon. I paid Verizon. No, well, no we're usually going to put it into the telephone company, a list of what, of what we sold. So, and then we could hopefully have a sub ledger once again, breaking out the data by who we paid if we properly entered all the data you know into the system adding that information as we did so being the vendor when we enter expense form checks forms and so on okay so that's going to be that report and that'll typically be involved if we buy say inventory could be useful in that event